Good afternoon. This video is going to be all about trimming a quail's beak. A quail's beak is just pretty much like our fingernails in that they keep on growing all the time. Usually you don't have to trim their beaks because they rub them off of the ground and off of rocks and off the water feeders and things like that and that keeps them in shape. But sometimes either the top or the bottom might come a bit out of shape. So you can see here, this is one of our female quail and her beak at the bottom has grown much longer than the top part and whatever she's doing, she's not managing to rub it down enough. So it's causing her a bit of difficulty to eat and drink. So this is the time when we would have to trim this just to give her a helping hand really. So just the same as your fingernails, you can use strong nail clippers to clip this extra part off or you can use dog um, claw scissors or clippers to do this as well if you have dogs or cats um, and you're just trimming the extra part so that it meets in line with the top part of the beak. It's important not to go too deep with it because you can actually hurt them and cause them to bleed if you go too deep so you just want the top and the bottom part of the beaks to line up and that's a good guide actually to go by so you just want to get a hold of your quail so they can't fly away and just clip the bottom part or the top part of the beak just to get the two parts of the beak to line up don't take off any more than that and as you can see she looks much better and it's going to make it much more easier for her to eat and drink now and she's quite happily back in the cage running about as normal. So fairly easy to do. As I said, don't take off too much. Just like clipping your nails, it's just the white tip part you want to take off and make sure that the top and bottom of the beak align with each other. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.